First things first, on your Kodi, on your home screen, you're going to go to the top and you're going to scroll over to settings. Once in settings, you're going to scroll over and select device, developer options, ADB, debugging on, and apps from unknown sources on. Make sure your apps from unknown sources is on. Now let's go back to the home screen. We're going to scroll to the top of your home screen, to the left, to the magnifying glass, which is your search bar. And if you have the voice search on the Fire Stick, you can just use your voice. If not, type in Downloader. I have the voice version, so I'm going to say Downloader. Once that pops up, you're just going to click on it. If you don't already have it, just select Install, and it will install for you, and then open it after you installed it. If you already have it, just go ahead and launch. Like I said, if not, and you don't already have it, just click on it, install it, and then launch it up to get to the screen. Once at that screen and you have your HTTP and all that good stuff already laid out for you, you're going to click your center button right here so you can enter this text. And this is the text we're going to want to enter. It's going to be Cody.tv forward slash download. Once that's typed in, you can just press the play button for go or scroll down to go. Once you do that, it's going to put you onto this screen right here. It's already got a mouse toggle already built in for you, which makes it already nice and easy. So this is what we're going to do. Since it's not an official release yet and it's not out on the versions that I've showed you before if you've watched my videos, this is a, a different kind of release, but it is the most up-to-date. It's just not officially released yet under the official tabs. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here. To older releases and where that says you can access those builds here. We're going to click on that here that lets you highlight and click on it. It will bring to this page and what we're going to do is we're going to select Android. And what we're going to do is select Android. So use your mouse to scroll up and select that. Now, if you have a Fire TV box, you can select ARM64 version 8A. But if you have a Fire TV stick, what we're going to do is we're going to select ARM slash. I have this TV stick, so we're going to just select the ARM. Then it's going to bring you here, and then you have the options, these two options. And as you can see, we have Kodi 17.4, Krypton, RC1, ARM, blah, 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 blah. You get the point. Released on the date August 10th, 2017. So let's go ahead and select that. Once selected, the download page is going to pop up saying connecting. So you're going to give it a minute or two, depending on your internet connection and all that stuff, to let it download. It's a real small download at 86 megabytes. So that's really it. Once done, this page will pop up. We're just going to scroll down and we're going to click on install. Let it install. Once again, give it a minute or two, depending on your connection. We're going to select done. We're going to select done again. And we're just going to click the home button. Now, once I click the home button, we should all be good and updated. So let me go ahead and select Cody and let's see what it says. And as you can see, bam, Cody version 17.4 Krypton RC preparing for first run. Please wait. Now I have a build. So my build, when I load, it says preparing for first run. My build's going to kick in and already handle everything for me. When you update, if you're just using plain add-ons, they most likely will be gone, and you have to reinstall them once updating. Now, 